Welcome to Project Wheel Speed Sensor. My name is David Miller, and today we will look at how a wheel speed sensor works and its basic components. Here's the tooth ring. This is a steel tooth ring with 48 teeth on it. Here's a variable reluctance sensor that measures the change in inductance as the tooth ring rotates. Okay, here's a breakdown of all the pieces that make up a wheel speed sensor. First we have the tooth ring. Here we have a steel tooth ring that's mounted on an aluminum uh, mounting bracket. The aluminum bracket was custom machined by Gary Mathis at CUI Car. Then the variable reluctance sensor. It's a coil wrapped around a magnet. You can see here the magnetism between the steel tooth ring and the reluctance sensor. The, the two ends of the coil are shown here. They're prongs. Typically they're attached with a connector to the vehicle that goes to the computer. But here I'm using alligator clips to connect the sensor directly to the MIDAC. And the MIDAC is hooked up to the computer. Alright, here's the wheel speed sensor setup with the computer, MIDAC, and electric motor. Here's the wheel speed sensor with its tooth ring and the variable reluctance sensor mounted close to it. Then the variable reluctance sensor is hooked into the inputs of the MIDAC, which is then hooked into the computer with the oscilloscope opened up. So when we get the motor running, it will show the signal of the variable reluctance sensor. And here you can see on the oscilloscope the <coughs> frequency generated by the variable reluctance sensor. Let's zoom in. You can see the signal. And it's giving a frequency of 258 hertz. Okay, so we have a frequency in hertz but we need to calculate the wheel speed. Now here, to calculate the wheel speed, we need the number of teeth on the tooth ring and the frequency. So we divide frequency by the number of teeth, which gives us the rotations per second, multiply that by 60 to give us rotations per minute. So we have 258 hertz divided by 48 teeth times 60 equals 323 RPM. Okay, let's try doubling the voltage going to the motor from 12 to 24 volts and calculate the speed difference. Okay, it's going faster. Let's see what the frequency says. 524. So now let's calculate how doubling the voltage going to the DC motor affects the wheel speed. The new frequency we got from doubling our voltage from 12 to 24 volts is 524 hertz. So putting that into our calculation, we get 655 RPM, which is double our previous wheel speed of 323 RPM showing a direct correlation between the voltage supply given to the DC motor and the wheel speed, which is a good indicator that the wheel speed sensor is working properly. And that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching.